What you are about to see is the greatest video of all time. It's universally agreed that this is the gold standard for videos on the internet. Better than Zoo We Whisper. Yes, even the greatest, most amazing piece of media that our world has ever seen can't top this amazing video. Why? Well, it's um, on this one internet list, that's why. It's a question as old as time. What is the greatest blank ever made? And no, I'm not talking about the stuff that isn't a gun whenever there's no bullets in it. <laughs> you of all time. Top 10 best TV shows of the 21st century. Best video games of all time that you have to play. A thousand and one movies to see before you die. But there really is no decided answer. The most common movie to top these lists is Orson Welles' Citizen Kane. It's all right. I've seen it. It's a perfectly decent movie. I like some parts of it. It's got some good filmmaking, nice looking shots, but is it the greatest movie of all time? No, definitely not. In fact, I wouldn't even say it's in my top 20. It's decent, and I can understand why people like it. But the greatest movie? Definitely not. Other uh, publications list the greatest movie of all time as being Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. No, just, just no. It does not deserve that title. The twist is straight out of a Scooby-Doo episode. The plot never goes anywhere. Characters are dropped midway through the movie. Jimmy Stewart's voice is unbearably annoying. He always sounds like he's a constipated 1940s gangster. It's unbearable to watch. It's so boring and slow. Here's the movie in a nutshell. Oh, I, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, woman. Uh, I'm in love. O H E L L P me, Scotty. I am haunted by these vizan. I can't be in love with you, Scotty. I'm gonna stalk you, woman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stalk you. Don't jump off. Trees make me sad. I am want to jump off of tower now. I am a 98 year old woman from the 1800s. Vertigo, totally overrated. Doesn't deserve the title at all. Excuse me. Vertigo is filled with lots of in-depth and thoughtful art that is smooth shy like you wouldn't understand. Shut up! Go away, you pesky yeah. film critic! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Darn. Always messing with my hard-earned opinions. Dang. Rolling Stone lists the greatest song of all time as being Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. No! That's a horse voice hipster singing over a reedy organ and some out of tune electric guitars. In what right mind would you ever think that that was the greatest song of all time? It's six minutes of pure headache. Like a Rolling Stone? More like, like a cracking bone, am I right? Excuse me. That is an opinion. Rolling Stone is beautiful in its awfulness. It's like a I send it crashing down a hill and destroying everything in his path. It's awful and true art is always disgusting and horrible. That's art, that's what it is. You know what else is disgusting and horrible? Your no. voice! No. Yeah! Let me at him! Let me at him! <laughs> ah. Ah. I suppose oh. I could, should go stop them. But well, that's just me. It's my opinion. And really, the other lists are too. They're random old white dudes. Who are they to decide what the best movie of all time is? There is no way to decide what objectively the greatest blank of all time in the whole wide universe is. In fact, the whole idea of critics is sort of weird. I mean, they control people's thoughts like a hypnotist or a wizard. They are the wizards of modern time. They control our thoughts. They are brainwashed. So what is my
my favorite movie of all time? Well, if I had to pick a few, it would probably be Close Encounters of the Third Kind, He Was Big Adventure, and The Truman Show. I just think they're all really well made, and they're always fun to watch. I've rewatched each of them about three times each. Do I think they're the greatest movies ever made? No, probably not. I haven't seen every movie in the world, so how am I supposed to know? You can't see every single movie that's ever existed. That is literally impossible. And that's the problem with us like this. They're all opinionated. And I love opinions. Heck, that's what my show is called, The Opinionist. So really, when you're making this sort of list, like, the greatest video games of all time, the best books ever written, it's really more like your favorites. So. Mr. Critic, do you think that our true art is a slog to sit through? Of course. And that there is indeed the best movie of all time? Definitely. Then, what would be the single greatest movie ever? Citizen Kane? Vertigo? Well, not all art is horrible to sit through and listen to, but I think one of the most beautiful examples of blending both worlds into one amazing movie in itself. This is not my opinion, this is the greatest movie of all time. Space Chips 2, Rise of Zorotar. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. What is your favorite movie of all time? Sherlock Gnomes! It was so great, even my dog watched it with me. You don't even have a and dog. And I gave him food. No, be quiet. He doesn't have a dog. I do have a dog. His name is Dog. <laughs> yeah. So, Evan, what's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie is Close Eyes featuring Vanilla Ice. Yeah, up dog, tight dog. Oh, oh God, you hit my camera. Why did you do that? <laughs> so, Gabe, what is your favorite film of all time? What? No, I, I don't watch those films, those devil machine things. I like to listen to my noun hours of psychedelic music, you know, man. And while I'm listening to it, I love making my organic lotions. Man, organic lotions are the best, and I'd be one with Earth, you know, man. Yeah. You I think we have an interesting topic over here. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Zen Life of a Butterfly. It is so beautiful in its fickle nature of the universe. So, that was my long and possibly very boring rant about how lists are wrong and they should be made. In conclusion, I am also a total hypocrite. So, um, this, these new opinionist episodes are rather newfangled. Um, basically, um, it's gonna be some of the same format. I'm introducing some characters, as you saw, with the pretentious art critic and the Bob Dylan parody. Anyway, um, so, uh, I hope to see you soon, whenever I make new episodes of our fabulous, fabulous show, The Opinionist! Yay! Right now I'm editing it with Premiere Pro. Um, which is a great, uh, high-class way to edit your videos.